they are, but we never use them. Boy, you really fixed this place up nice. Yeah, she's gonna love it. Oh, what time is she coming? In about an hour. Hope she gets it before I have to go to work. This is so dramatic. <sighs> Judy, there is nothing dramatic about working in a bargain basement. No. <laughs> I mean, two ex-schoolmates acted together in college. Then one is a sales girl and the other has a part in a Broadway show. That's not dramatic, that's tragic. You're upset. No, I'm delighted for her. The fact that she's gonna make it now and I haven't doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I'm really thrilled for her. I really am. That's why I don't understand why every time I think about her in the play and me in the basement, I get these terrible pains in my stomach. I know exactly what you mean. I had the same thing when my best girlfriend, Snooky, got married before I did. Yeah. I, I guess it is sort of the same thing. But you know, it all worked out great because Snooky and her husband introduced me to Leon. Say, maybe she can help you. Snooky? No, your friend. I'll bet she knows a lot of important people in show business now. Judy, I wouldn't dream of having Sandy do anything like that. You ever see All About Eve? Yeah. Now, there was a girl who really knew how to get what she wanted. And everybody hated her, including me. Okay. It was just a thought to try and help you get rid of the pains. It would make them worse. Well, what does she look like? Who? Eve. I mean, Sandy. <laughs> I took this out this morning. Look at all these funny pictures. Isn't she pretty? Oh, real glamorous. <laughs> and that's me. This girl? No. That girl. uncomfortable on this thing. She gets the bed. You're a good person. <laughs> oh, that's her. Ah, you look terrific. Oh, Sandy. Oh, Sandy, you look great. Let me take these. Oh, oh I'm so glad to be here. Oh. oh, Sandy, this is Judy Bessemer. She and Leon live next door. Hi. He's my husband, an obstetrician. Uh, how convenient. <laughs> well, not really. He fainted when their son was born. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Well, I, I guess I'll see you two later when you're through with your reminiscing. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. I guess I'll see you. you made it. You really made it. The way the plane was bouncing around for a minute, I didn't think I would. No, silly. I mean to Broadway, this part. Let's wait till opening night and see if I really make it. How about you? Oh, me. I am busy. Frantic, actually. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Up for parts all the time. Great. Are you doing any TV? Well, just last month there was this big commercial. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't get it. Oh, Sandy, I don't know why I'm trying to kid you. The most acting I've done lately is the last two minutes. Hey, Annie, I know. I mean, until I got this job, I was... It'll happen. Just keep your nose to the grindstone. And you end up with the ground-up nose. <laughs> That's unpack. Uh, okay, but then I have to get down to the theater. You want to come? Well, you're kidding. Really? Oh, Sandy, I'd love it. I think I'll wear my gray. Where oh, are you going? To get dressed. Uh, I thought you were going to help me get in. Well, I am. But first, I got to get dressed. We're going to go to the theater. What will I wear? I'll wear, I'll wear my gray coat dress. No, my pink suit. <laughs> Last time I was in the theater, I wore an usher's outfit. <laughs> oh, my gray coat. <laughs> All right, that's it for now, kids. Let's take 10 minutes. Oh, gosh, 
Maddie, you're just terrific. You think so? Uh, I wish you were one of the opening night critics. Oh, will you <laughs> stop it? You're just going to be marvelous. I'm going to tell you something. Just seeing your name on that door gives me the chills. Annie. <laughs> what? Uh, there's something I wanted to say to you, and I should have said it back at the apartment. Well, say it. I'm afraid you might be insulted. Oh, you don't like your bed. There's not enough room in the closet. I knew it. No, it's about the play. Oh, I shouldn't hang around here. I make you nervous. Oh, come on in here. What is it, Sandy? What did I do? I need an understudy. You do? Well, what? And you want me to be your understudy? I knew you'd be insulted. Insulted? Oh, it's... Oh, Sandy, look how insulted I am. I mean... A Broadway understudy, right? Right there out on Broadway in a Broadway show. Oh, it's happened a hundred times, right? The star gets sick, it's opening night. The understudy goes out there and knocks him dead. <laughs> and I can't do that. Why? Did you hear how excited I was just then when I was out there knocking him dead and you were sick? Oh, Sandy, how could I be your understudy? Somebody's got to do it. I want it to be you. Yeah, but it shouldn't be a close friend. I mean, the whole thing is loaded with pitfalls. Well, if we know that, we won't fall into them. <laughs> Are you sure this is what you want? Positive. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, what are we talking about? I don't even have the part yet. The company manager's my boyfriend. I'll set up an audition. Oh, Sandy. How can I even thank you? Just make sure I never get sick. <laughs> Look, Martin, I'm a bona fide agent. I handle them all, big and small. When I send you a drunk to play a drunk, I mean intentionally. <laughs> Look, they told me he was on the wagon. Yeah, that's the trouble with this business. You can't trust anybody. Trust me, Martin. <laughs> I'll send you somebody else. Right. Yeah. You know, next time you complain about my using the phone in your office, I'm going to remind you of these 12 calls. Petty. You're a petty person. Cute, but petty. <laughs> Well, you looked at the script. Should I do it? Yeah, it's a good part. It's the best part I ever got you. George, I got me this part. Look, what's the difference? It's all in the family. <laughs> anyway, I'm not up for the part. I'm up for the understudy. After your friend falls out the window here, sweetheart, you'll be up for the part. <laughs> My friend is not going to fall out the window. You're right. She'll have to be pushed. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's simple. She'll never suspect you. Say, hey, look at the sparrows. Boom, she's gone. You got the part. You know, you're a fiend. Cute for fiendy. When's the audition? Well, Sandy's trying to set it up for tomorrow. Good. Let me hear you read. Why? Why? Because I happen to know what's good and what's bad. Now, read. Now, Marion. Now, Marion, stop it. You're acting outrageously. Marion, please. Someone's going to get hurt. Will you please, please listen to me? We're listening to you. Oh, Sandy. I didn't know you were. Oh, we were. Well, come on in. Uh, this is uh, Jim Perriman, the fellow I was telling you about. Uh, this is George Lester, my friend. I'm not a friend, I'm a agent. He's more my friend. <laughs> well, I was just reading the part. Yes, I know. We heard you outside. Uh, ten apartments down. <laughs> well, I read loud the first time. First time? You're kidding me. That's very good for the first time. Uh, hey, how about that, Sandy? Oh, how about that? Uh, well, uh, actually, I was thinking before that I'm really not right for the part. I mean, I'm uh, shorter than Sandy, and, and I'm a brunette, and Sandy is a nice, villainy blonde type. And I... Isn't that funny? You know, because we originally had a brunette in mind until Sandy came along. You never tell me that. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think it was important. Look, Jim, we can save a lot of time, you and me, with this audition. I mean, Anne is here now. And George is just leaving because he's got a very important appointment. You know? Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe, you know, maybe we can do this. How about it, Anne? Sandy, have you got a moment? Oh, surely. Excuse us. So they originally wanted a brunette. Oh, Sandy, I feel so guilty. Well, that's a step in the right direction. But I don't even know why. I mean, I just wanted to be prepared. Oh, you were prepared, script in hand, agent at your side. Well, he was just helping me with my line. Not your lines, Anne. My lines. Of course, they're your lines, Sandy. I see, I told you last night it wouldn't work. We didn't even get to the place where we thought it wouldn't work, and it didn't work. So I'm going to go out there and tell Mr. Perryman that it just doesn't work. Wait a minute. You know what? You're going to hit me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anne, we talked about pitfalls, and I fell into one. You had every right in the world to learn those lines. Now go on out there. 
Thanks, Andy. Aren't you going to come? No, I, I think I'll make you nervous. I'll go take a shower and cool off. <laughs> go out there and get the job. I'll try. As the understudy. <laughs> so this is my decision, and it's final. I just came to say goodbye, Marion. Just be good to him. He's a good man. Well, George, let's go. I was that bad? No, you were that good. I'm gonna make a deal with your agent. And I'll be tough. Charming, but tough. You mean that's it? You mean I've got it? Yeah, she got the part. Uh, oh, I'm so excited. Wait till I tell Sandy. Oh, thank you, Jim. Hey, what about me? George thanks you, too. <laughs> ingrate. A petty ingrate. Oh, I mean... Listen, tell Sandy that I'll call her later on, all right? Right, right. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sandy! Sandy, I got the job! What? I got the job! Oh, great! I knew you'd get it! Sandy, I'm so excited! Just think I'm gonna be a real understudy on Broadway. Andy, I think it's... <laughs> Sandy, what's the matter? <laughs> luckier not to fall. Why don't you have a rubber shower mat? I do. It's in the kitchen. Well, I was cleaning it for you. I'll get it. Uh, I'm finished. And there's a draft. Oh, I'm sorry. I told the dark gender to fix this. It's been stuck for five weeks. Hey, you could catch a cold. I'll get you a blanket. Why don't I just move away? <laughs> Here, Sandy. I'll just cover you up. Nice and warm. Here. Here. Oh! What's the matter? It's wool! Of course. It's going to be nice and I'm warm. allergic! Oh, gee, Sandy, I didn't remember. Big red blotches all over. <laughs> That's right, the Scarlet Pimpernel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, you just sit down. Come on, right back here. I'll put this on you. There's no wool in this, Sandy. There's not a sheep within five miles of here. There you are. Nice and comfy. Here. Are you okay? Terrific. How long have you uh, officially been my understudy? Gee, about ten minutes. <laughs> I'll never make it till opening night. <laughs>
And now, Sandy, don't get upset. I'm the one that broke it. But it's my mirror. What does that mean? Well, it means that we'll each get three and a half. <laughs> I'll take it all. Listen, don't be worried. Uh, break a leg. I mean, good luck. I mean, I meant break a leg. Bye. <laughs> Someone at your door. It's so early. I didn't think it was you. I thought it was a gangster. <laughs> no, it's me. How was the play? Oh, gosh. I was so excited just being there. I don't even know. Sandy was great. Well, I thought there was an opening night party. Oh, there is. I just didn't really feel like I belonged there. You're in the cast. Oh, well, you know, Judy, an understudy really isn't in the cast. So you should have gone as Sandy's friend. Ugh. I stayed away as Sandy's friend. I probably would have spilled something on her. You know what I did tonight? You went to the play. No, I mean what I did to Sandy. I broke her dressing room mirror. On purpose? Who knows? I've been such a klutz since I got this job, I'm beginning to wonder. You want some coffee? No, thanks. I gotta go. You know what I think? I think you're being too self-conscious. You know what I think? I'm beginning to wonder about my subconscious. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, Judy, don't you see? I mean, I'm her understudy, and if anything should happen to her, I'd be the one to benefit. And you wouldn't do anything like that. Well, I know I wouldn't. But you see, my subconscious really isn't me. Who is it? <laughs> A rat. I don't believe that. Well, neither do I, really. I mean, if it's my subconscious, I'd like to think it's a nice person. You bet it is. Well, you should never have taken that dumb job. You know, Judy, you're right. And when Sandy comes home, I'm going to tell her to find somebody else. Good idea. Just go back to being her friend. Right. Then if I kill her, I don't have to feel guilty. <laughs> two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, three, five. One, two, three, three, one, three, two, two, three, three. How high? Hi. What are you doing home so early? I came home to die. Oh, are you sick? Well, that's the first step to a die. But you said, what's the matter? Hey, well, it could be a lot of things. It could be open windows, wool blankets, uh, maybe a little black patch. Now, look, Sandy, I've got to talk to you. In the morning, I'm too sick. <laughs> Oh, I'm sick. I need some more. Here, let me get it for you. You go back to bed. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, you are sick. Satisfied? Now, I'm going to go next door and get Dr. Bessemer, Judy's husband. I'd rather have a stranger. I don't know any strangers. <laughs> now, don't move. I can't move. Now, don't move. Now, don't worry. Judy! Judy! Hi, Ann. What is it? It's, it's, it's uh, Sandy. She's really sick. She needs a doctor. Yeah? yeah? Hey, Leon's a doctor. <laughs> Leon, get your bag and come here. What do you think it is? I don't know, but she thinks it's mental telepathy. Sounds terrible. Yeah, to kill a friendship. Hi. Oh, Leon, can you come right over at sure. Sandy? She just feels awful. Oh, well, uh, how far apart are the pains? About two feet. Two feet? Yeah, one's in her head and one's in her stomach. Well, then she's not having a baby. Oh, no, she's just sick. Oh, good. I mean, it'll be easier. <laughs> Sandy, this is Dr. Bessemer. Oh, I'm thrilled. <laughs> You've got a fever. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thanks. I uh, read the review of your play. Mm. What do you think it is? A flop. <laughs> oh, but that's only one review. Uh, no, I mean Sandy. Oh, it could be just a bad cold from a draft or something. Don't say that. Hmm. Mm, what? You seem more anxious than she is. I am. 102. Oh, great. What is it? 102. Leon, I heard that. I mean, the whole thing. What does she have? Oh, uh, measles. The measles? How could I have given her the measles? I couldn't have given her the measles. Sure you could. How? When you had them. I didn't have them. Right. Then you couldn't have given them to her. Measles, that's great. Hey, but, Sandy, it is great. I mean, in a way. I couldn't have given you the measles. 
That's right, the measles. I got sick by myself. No, someone definitely gave them to you. Yeah, but not her. Oh, Leon, that's really terrific. I don't know what's so terrific. In an adult, they can be very painful. Not as painful as losing a friend. Right, Sandy? Right, this part's great, but I still have the measles. What are we gonna do? Well, oh, she's gonna stay in bed for a week. And she's gonna do a Broadway play. Me? Oh, but Sandy, I... No, but Sandy, I... That's what understudies are for. Now go. Really, Sandy? Go. With your blessings? <laughs> With my blessings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anne. Uh, break a leg. <laughs> Well, not really. It doesn't matter. Can I have your autograph? Hey, wait a minute. Can I have yours? Why? Well, you're the first one to ever ask for mine. <laughs> Can I help you, miss? Oh, hi, Pops. The name is Wesley. Oh, I've got to see the stage manager right away. He's not here. Oh, well, uh, Sandra Stafford, the girl I understudy, she's sick. So I have to go on tonight. She's got the measles. I didn't do it. I didn't even see her till five days ago. But the show must go on. The show don't must go on unless someone pays to see it. What do you mean? The only people going out there tonight are the stagehands who will be striking the set. Striking the set? But the show just opened last night. A correction, miss. Opened and closed. Closed? You haven't read the notices? They weren't good? I've had better notices from the gas company. <laughs> well... Hey, would it be okay if I just went out there for a minute? Take your time. We ain't booked here until the Shrine Convention in May. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You can call me Pops. <laughs> you like the theater, huh? Hmm. You've been around it a lot? Well, no. I've got a feeling you will be. I can tell by that look in your eyes. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, I'll see you in May. Why? My dad's a Shriner. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing to be upset about. Your reviews were great. It was just a play they hated. Boy, they really hated that play. I really did want you to go on at least once. Oh, don't worry. I'm still your understudy. For what? The measles. I go on in 10 days. <laughs> 